What's up guys, welcome to Project Good Speed and on today's video I'm going to be replacing the instrument panel dash lights as well as some other interior lights with some brand new LED lights. Let's get started. Today's little sketch, I think it came out pretty clean. What's up everyone, this is Project Goodspeed and if you're new to the channel, I mostly deal with installing and modifying parts for the little hatchback to make sure that it is as clean and reliable as I can possibly get it. So hit that like and subscribe button if you wanna see more hot hatchback content because I've got a lot of stuff planned for the little Civic. Before we get started, I wanna take a look at the products that we'll be using. Now I've been doing some research on basically just doing the replacement for all the lights in the interior and two of them are pretty simple. You know, the dome lights are, I think they're about the same size. I got one in the overhead and one in the hatch. And that's what these are for right here. And as we can see here, these are ice blue. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Now, these on the other hand are three different colors because I wasn't sure what color I wanted to eventually end up going with. And I also wasn't sure if I chose the right color, if it would come out looking the same because I've had a lot of issues with Amazon stuff and it's sometimes not as reliable as you want it to be. So these are T5 size and they are light blue. And these are, I think these are the white ones and these are blue. I have three different choices and I'm still not sure which one I'll end up going with. I do want to mention that these are actually just the bulbs and we'll get into that once I remove the cluster and we have a chance to look at the little housing for the light. Now, I ordered these on Amazon. Um, I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check them out. They have different colors, but ultimately they are just the LED bulbs. Now, removing the cluster really isn't all that hard. Honestly, it's a couple screws and just unplug the wire harness and it just comes right off. Now, actually, I've already removed the cluster earlier, and as we can see here, if we turn it around on the back side, we have all these um, black and brown um, housings here, and these are actually where all the lights are located. Technically, all of these um, housings here are light bulbs, and you know, these are like the indicator lights, I think, on both sides here and there, and then down here you have your check engine light and the other sensors. But for our case, we're only going to be removing the brown ones that are mostly for the tachometer and the speedometer here. So now that we have our cluster out of the car, we can access these brown little housings here. And these actually hold the light bulbs. And we want to be careful not to damage either the housing of the light bulb here or the motherboard, which is this green stuff here, which is basically what gives power to these little light bulbs and these sensors here. So. The way I'm gonna do it here is uh, I'm gonna be reusing the brown housing, just not the light bulb. So you wanna be very careful not to squeeze it too tight and basically just use leverage by pushing your hands against each other and not pulling it so hard, but just leverage against your fingers. And they should come out pretty easy. Um, and now that we have this out, we can go ahead and install the new one. And we have encountered our first problem, and that is that the light bulbs are not all the same size. You can tell here, this one is a lot bigger than those three there. The connection might be the same. It's just the bulb is just a different size. So hopefully the LEDs work and, and hopefully I don't short circuit this thing and burn them out because that would suck. But we're gonna go ahead and just install all the same size LED into all of these and hopefully that works. So I've installed all of them back in there, which is pretty simple. Now we're just gonna plug it in and see what they look like inside. All right, so the battery has been plugged in, the dash has been installed, and we are gonna give it a shot here. All right, so it's not bad. Uh, I think this is the ice blue. Yes, these are ice blue. And as we can see, we have 
a little bit of a dark spot up here. It's still kind of dark up there. That's gonna bother me if I drive it like that. Okay, let's go ahead and try the other color. Let's take a look at the final product. Look at that, nice and blue. And I finally got my AC unit to actually turn on. I'll, let me tell you guys what I did. So I actually ended up taking apart the uh, radio. I had to take apart this, then I managed to replace the bulbs, but that didn't do anything. And ultimately I took the whole thing apart just to inspect to see if there were any loose uh, wires or any bad soldering nothing um, ultimately I just put it back together and I wiggled with the uh, LEDs and sure enough we have it on so for the longest time I never actually had a clock because the clock would be constantly grounded and on all the time and it actually killed my battery multiple times um, until I finally just had it and disconnected it and just left it there. But now that I took it apart and actually had a spare one from the junkyard that I bought a few weeks back, um, I replaced it and look at that green light up. Now, originally the color is a little bit like uh, this color, some dull uh, whitish or yellow, but all it did was remove the polarizer from the actual unit, which is in here. You can see this one has it. I put it back in there and it just pops right off. You can put it right back if you want to. Uh, but I like the way the green looks, you know, it looks a little more JDM. But everything is installed. We have our working lights and all that's left now is to install the final piece and we can wrap up this video. So basically, I just went through the process of installing different color lights on the instrument panel. I essentially installed the ice blue light, the blue light, and then the white light, just to see what color I wanted because I wasn't sure based off the Amazon pictures if my cluster would look the same or if I would like the way it looked when I installed it. Now, I ultimately ended up going with the ice blue just because the blue was a little too, a little too distracting in my opinion. Um, I felt like I probably wouldn't be able to focus on the speed or basically any of the information because it was just too in my face with the blue. I was, you know, stuck between the ice blue and the white because the white is, is perfect. It looks completely stock and it is ideal. I, I, I'll ultimately probably end up switching to that one eventually. When it comes to installing these particular LED bulbs, it's very crucial that you get the placement just right. As you can see, it has two strips and on this side and two strips on that side, and they both need to make connection at the right um, distance left and right and up and down because I noticed that if you just insert it and push it all the way, sometimes you get these dark spots uh, which could make you think that the bulb is busted or that you messed up, but that's not the case. You just have to wiggle it around and make sure that the connection is perfect. Uh, I essentially just had to, you know, install it and then remove it and then reinstall it just to make sure I had the right connection. And uh, it turns out that these aren't actually uh, polarized, so you can install them in any direction because I just kept flipping them back and forth and I would lose track of which way, but they ultimately ended up working anyway. So not polarized. I'll put the link in the description if you guys are interested. Now, admittedly, the overhead dome light is a little flashy. It's not my uh, my particular style, but uh, I probably will also switch to an LED white light up there. Um, but for now, we're gonna stay with the little flashy blue. And I think it looks a little, I think it looks decent. You know, it's not like I use it all the time anyway, so. Now, the size of these bolts were advertised on Amazon as T5 number 74. And from the research that I did, these were the ones that everyone was saying that need to be installed to get it to work just right. So these light bulbs are dimmable, but the range is basically still pretty high. It's like 
the lowest setting on the LEDs is probably equivalent to the highest setting on your stock light bulbs. Which, I mean, it's a good thing. It's just I would have liked them to have a more lower setting in case you just want to turn the lights down just a little bit so you barely notice it. Um, you can't really do that with these LEDs because they're still so bright. But, I mean, it's better than not being able to see them at all. Now, each of these packs cost me about $7. So with shipping, it was about tw around 25 bucks, I think, for all three of these. And now I have extra colors in case I decide to change them. Now, when I installed these lights, I noticed that there was a little bit of, of leakage of light through the sides. And I really didn't like that because I wanted it to look clean and smooth and only lit up the areas that were designed to be lit up and not see light leaking through different other areas. So what I did is I just took some electric tape and I taped it around the um, blue, the circular housing around the tachometer and the other gauges so that none of the light would leak through and you wouldn't be able to see it. And in my opinion, I think this is uh, a great touch because like I said, it's a more, little bit more of a clean look and it's not so messy. The light is uh, more refined and really only lights up the areas that need to be lit up and you don't have this excess light just bleeding through the entire tachometer because if the lights are in the back then and it's lighting up everything, the, the lights might as well be in the front then, you know? Now, as for the AC control unit, I wish I could give you guys a proper response as to what I did right or wrong, but honestly, I, I replaced these bulbs and it didn't work, um, I'm gonna be honest. So I took it out and I inspected it. I didn't do anything because I didn't really notice anything wrong. I checked the soldering, the wires, and there was nothing broken or or rusted or anything. So I just put it back in and just gave up. And then once I started it up, they just turned on and I was a little dumbfounded. I didn't know what happened. Oh, let me just check these bulbs. Maybe they're actually blown out and I messed up the first time when I connected it. So as you can see, these are a different shade of blue. I'm gonna just peel these. Oh yeah, check it out. Look, the bulb is blackening and I don't know if you can see here. The filament seems to have burned out. Lucky for me, I managed to replace them and everything is working just the way it should. Now, if you guys have a 92 to 95 Honda Civic and you're looking to change your dash lights, basically all you need is uh, six number 74 LED bulbs. Um, depending on what color you want, go ahead and just pick it out. And the install is relatively easy. The only piece of advice I have for you guys, if you guys do this method, I would recommend you guys take your time. Like I said, the LED bulbs are sometimes a little finicky and it's gonna be a lot of plugging it in and turning it on just to see if you got them all right. But if you only have the one um, bulb and you know exactly what color you want, then it's not gonna be too long. It's probably maybe 20 minutes max for your install. What actually took me the longest was working on the AC unit just because it's a really pain um, process just to get the whole thing out and then only to replace two bulbs, which by the end, I'm gonna have to replace the whole unit anyway because it's broken and I'm missing one of the pieces and I don't have AC, so I might as well just replace it anyway. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you are interested in more Hatch content, like, comment, subscribe. I got a lot of stuff planned for the little Civic. And until the next video, guys, take care and good speed. Oh, before I forget, I installed the blue light on the license plate as well. So now it's blue all around. Check it out. I may have gotten carried away with all the lights. Oh boy. Take care and good speed, guys.